Welcome. So what I have here is I'm, uh, another table that I'm just going to show you how to graph, um, again, using uh, you, well, I'm going to graph using a table of a linear equation. So we have an x and y axis. And again, all we're simply going to do is just plot these points and then connect them to determine our x and y axis and our maximum and our min. So here's my x axis. Here's my y axis. I want to make sure that at least my units are going to cover my extremes. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Remember, when we go in x in the positive direction, it's going to be positive. And to the left is going to be negative. For the y-axis, going up will be positive, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And down will be negative, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, and you can see that each one of my units is going up by one unit. So now I'm just going to plot these points. So x is negative 3, so I'm going to go to the left, negative 3 on the x-axis, and down negative 2 on the y-axis. For negative 1, negative 2, I'll go over negative 1, down 2, 0, down 2, 1, down 2, and three down to. And what you notice is when I connect these points, I'm creating a horizontal line. And when we talk about horizontal lines, we know that our slope is going to be 0. Um, so we have a slope that's going to be 0. Now let's also take a look at our maximum and our minimum. Well, you can tell in this graph, as far as the maximum and the minimum of this um, graph, the maximum is at negative 2. And also, the minimum is also going to be at negative 2 because it's not going to deviate up or down from that output value. Um, so that's going to be my maximum minimum for my output value. Now, the next thing, let's look at it. What about our intercepts? Well, we have a y-intercept. The y-intercept's at 0, comma, negative 2. But then when we look at the x-intercept, we see, does this graph cross the x-axis at all? And no, it does not. And it's never going to because the pattern is just going to continue at a solid line. So the x-intercept does not exist, or I'm just going to simply write none. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph a linear equation, which is horizontal. Thanks.